I'm meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch. Welcome to Climate Change, Protecting Our Planet, a special dedicated to understanding the perils we face as our Earth warms and the work being done to combat and adapt to our changing world. We begin with a conversation with climate experts from around the region. I asked them to talk about the latest projections. Bigger storm surges. More intense rainfall more often. Extreme heat that lingers and more. Climate change risk is greater than imagined, says Dr. Christian Branion. So you can imagine a heat wave followed by a power outage, followed by a tropical storm or a hurricane. A huge concern for us here in New York City is the increased prevalence of extreme heat days. An increase from 17 extreme heat days to two, possibly three times that many by the 2050s. Extreme heat claims as many as 350 lives a year in the Big Apple. Sea level rise, another serious threat. By the 2030s, we're expecting about 7 to 11 inches of additional sea level rise. On Long Island, Freeport boasts elevated roadways and homes. The move started a decade ago to combat rising sea level. With the new predictions, they may have to do it all over again. Adrian Esposito, executive director of Citizens Campaign for the Environment, says over the last 80 years, sea level in the Northeast rose by 13 inches. In a worst case scenario, by the end of this century, everything south of Merrick Road or Montauk Highway is going to be flooded or underwater. More heat, problematic here too. Mild winters mean more ticks, more mosquitoes. Winter flounder have died off, lobsters have left, and more invasive species have come in to change the whole ecology of Long Island Sound. For the island, the city, and the Garden State, a warmer Atlantic presents challenges. What we've seen is about a three degree rise in water temperatures during the summer since 1985. Dr. Anthony Broccoli, director of Rutgers Climate Institute, says warmer water adds more fuel for tropical storms to feed off of. Mix stronger storms with rising sea level, and it's a recipe for disaster. Under a high emission scenario, there's one estimate that indicates that much of New Jersey would get between 10 and 25 days a year with triple digit heat. Warmer air can hold more moisture, but what goes up must come down. Expect more frequent rounds of heavy rain across the region. By some estimates, maybe as much as 20 to 25 percent heavier by the end of this century. Some declare our current situation a climate crisis, but there is hope. Thaddeus Pulowski, managing director of Center for Resilient Cities and Landscapes at Columbia University, calls out the Billion Oyster Project which builds reefs using oyster shells with the help of students and volunteers. Youth activists demand climate change be prioritized, another source of inspiration. I feel like we're doing a lot of learning with young people like together as we manage these crises. Ten years ago, you know, people didn't believe climate change is real. Now people understand it is real and it's serious. This is a true test for humanity about whether uh, we're actually as civilized as we think we are. I asked all four experts how we combat climate change today. The common response is we must move away from fossil fuel consumption as a society.